Welcome back to another episode of 40 Facts About the 40K Universe. I am your host, Kirsch One, and you are watching One Mind Syndicate. Today, we continue with the 13th Black Crusade, in a way. We're going to deviate from the actual battle, and we're going to be talking about the Zeit Campaign. It's an awesome campaign that happened during the Black Crusade, the 13th Black Crusade, but it didn't involve Abaddon at all. It actually involved the in eastern fringe of the galaxy, meaning the Tau versus Space Marine. So let's get into 40 facts about the Zeit's Campaign. The Zeit's Campaign was a military conflict fought between the Imperium of Man and the Tau Empire in the Zeit's sector of the Ultima Segmentum taking place during the Tau's Empire's Third Sphere expansion. The campaign ran concurrently with Abaddon the Despoiler's 13th Black Crusade and the assault on the Imperial space by the Tyranid High Fleet Leviathan. By the year 997 of the 41st millennium, Tau expansionist activity encroached upon Imperial worlds within the initiation of the Tau Empire's Third Sphere expansion. This expansion was notable in that the Tau Empire resorted on occasion to annexing Imperial planets by military force, rather than the more common approach of cultural subversion. By the 999th year of the 41st millennium, Imperial planetary governors in the eastern fringe of the galaxy were calling for massive reinforcements to push back the Tau forces, but with the constant attacks on Imperial space by the Tyranid High Fleet Leviathan and an increasing in attacks by the Chaos Renegades from the Maelstrom Warp Rift, few Imperial defense forces were able to respond to the call. One Imperial defender who could, however, was the Ultramarine Chapter Master Marnius Calgar and his Space Marines. He dispatched the Ultramarine's famous second company to the Zeit sector to draw defensive lines through which the Tau would not be able to pass. When the Ultramarines arrived in the Zeit sector, they found numerous Imperial worlds abandoned to the Tau and other heavily fortified to defend against the Tau lightning raids. Captain Kato Sicaris commander of the Ultramarine Second Company, attacked the Forge World of Pritonis V to break the ongoing Tau assault on that planet and use this momentum to begin pushing the Tau offensive back. Captain Zykaris used the same tactics as the Tau, which were ideal for relatively small forces of Space Marines, including raid lightning strikes on weak positions to destabilize more heavily defended ones. Due to the Ultramarines' efforts, the Tau expansion slowed and then stopped under the Imperial assaults. Eventually, only the world of Agora in the Zeit sector remained in Tau hands, as their only remaining logistical and repair source in the area. By this time, the Ultramarines were no longer the only Space Marine force involved in the assault. Warriors from the Night Watch, Halo Dragon, Silver Skulls, Sable Swords, Crimson Fist, Iron Lords, Aurora Chapter, Eagle Warrior, and the Knights of the Raven, as well as many others, had all joined the Ultramarines in the attack on Algora. The Ultramarines, Night Watch, Halo Dragon, Silver Skulls, Sable Swords, and Crimson Fists fulfilled the role of tactical squads. The Iron Lords filled the position of Devastator squads, and the Aurora Chapter made up the Predator Spearhead. Terminator squads were made up of Eagle Warriors, and finally, three companies of the Knights of the Raven. Despite their advanced technology, battle suits, and plasma weaponry, the Tau had no hope for defeating such a large combined force of Space Marines. Algora's fortresses, shipyards, and weapon factories were either badly damaged or destroyed by the Space Marine offensive. With the loss of their last forward logistical base in the sector, the Tau appeared to fall back to protect more secure territory within their borders, apparently bringing their third sphere expansion to a close. Unfortunately, though the Space Marines had won the war and appeared to stop the Tau seizure of human territory, it was not possible to sanction a thrust into Tau-held space as the individual Space Marine forces were required elsewhere in the galaxy to hold the line against the forces of chaos during the height of the 13th Black Crusade. Reluctantly, Captain Securus returned control of the defense of the Zeit Sector back to its planetary governors. Later intelligence would reveal that the Tau had anticipated the Imperial counterattack, and that the Zeit Sector campaign was used as a colossal diversion. 
tying up the elite of the Imperial Rapid Response Forces in a sacrificial zone to allow the Tau to launch offensive against more vulnerable targets in the other sectors. Many worlds of the Imperium toppled to the onslaught. Among the victories won by the Tau at this time was Commander Shadow Sun's conquest of the strategically important Imperial world of Agrella, which took mere months after the conclusion of the Zeitz campaign. And those were 40 facts about the Zeitz campaign. Well, in reality, it was only 19, but you can uh, dissect more facts from the bigger facts, I guess. Uh, thank you guys so much for listening. Like this lore shows you, Tau players are not, not to be trusted. So, uh, Sound Alchemist, I'm talking to you. He's a Tau player for all you that don't know. It's the other guy, the other voice that you hear. Uh, thank you guys so much for listening. Again, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe to the channel. You're going to get... Warhammer 40k lore videos every single day, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. This was Gersh1 with One Mind Syndicate, signing out.